Hi, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. Today's video is about these forbidden jelly beans whose origins are a bit uncertain. Armadillidium vulgare St. Lucia. First, let's discuss the geographical origins of this locality. Armadillidium vulgare as a species is widely regarded to have originated in Europe, but the origins of the St. Lucia locality are up for debate. Obviously, it's named after a location, but there are two locations named St. Lucia to which the name could be referring. One possible such location is in the Old World. Off the northwestern coast of Africa, in the Canary Islands, there is a town called Santa Lucia de Tirajana. However, in the New World, there is also an island country in the Eastern Caribbean, or Caribbean, called St. Lucia. If you look up this Armadillidium vulgare locality on the internet, you'll find sites that indicate it originates in Spain, presumably referring to the Canary Islands, which are an autonomous community of Spain. On the other hand, other sites declare that it hails from the island nation of St. Lucia in the Caribbean. I once felt reasonably certain they came from St. Lucia in the Canary Islands, but now, honestly, I'm not sure. If anyone is aware of documentation, of the original collection site of this locality. I'd love to know about it. As you can see, my St. Lucia stock is quite variable. There are wild types, oranges, high yellows, individuals reminiscent of the British high yellow line, and these Dalmatian-like individuals. Some stock in the hobby are similar to mine, while other stock is clearly less variable and may largely consist of wild types, oranges, and specimens something like this one. Still beautiful and interesting, just with considerably less variation. How is it that there are such different populations in the hobby that are ostensibly from the same origin? There are a couple of reasonable explanations for the differences. Assuming the variations in St. Lucia are purely genetic, which, admittedly, is also up for debate. One possible explanation is that the original St. Lucia stock contained all of these variations, possibly even more, but that some hobby populations lost variability over time. How, you might ask? Well, if one hobbyist purchased a 10 count of St. Lucia from the original collection group, and the specimens purchased only had a fraction of the genetic variation present in that parent group, the new group would be less variable, and this could occur multiple times over the years. Another possibility is that my stock is no longer a pure line of St. Lucia. My stock is descended from two different introductions that were labeled as St. Lucia, and I have not introduced any other Armadillidium vulgare strains into that population, but it's certainly possible that someone else, prior to me obtaining this line, had introduced something else, maybe gem mix or some other stock. I would certainly hope not, as that would mean that I didn't have St. Lucia at all, but a gem mix. There's nothing wrong with a gem mix per se, which is simply a random, often multi-generational mix of different morphs and or localities, but once you have introduced gem mix into a line, that's all you have, a gem mix. You could potentially isolate a new morph from that gem mix, but you would never, never want to, for example, take St. Lucia-like individuals from that gem mix and label them as St. Lucia. That would be incorrect, and any unique genetic traits of the original pure stock would be diluted and or lost. Without more information about the founding stock of St. Lucia, it's hard to say which of the possibilities I have. And that is one of the many reasons why it's important to be careful with naming conventions of isopods. If the original stock had been labeled as Armadillidium vulgare, Island of St. Lucia, or St. Lucia, Canary Islands, for example, the confusion about the geographical origins of this locality wouldn't exist. I hope you enjoyed this little foray into the uncertain origins of Armadillidium vulgare St. Lucia. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this one, and thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video. I'm gonna I'm gonna put these in here now. Um, time for them to uh, colonize this new enclosure. <laughs>